So Bumble just did a new update. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but this is the screen I got when I ran out of options. That's everyone. Looks like you're going to die alone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was necessary, Bumble. Well now, looks like someone at Bumble is a Kevin Samuels fan, but sweetie, I got an easy fix to your problem. Lower your standards. What? How dare you? No, no! No! Oh! This is not how this was supposed to go! Um, sweetie, you know why modern dating sucks for a lot of people? It's because average women don't want to quote-unquote lower their standards to be with an average man. But they expect the top 20% of men to lower their standards to be with an average woman. That is crazy. A little while back, I exchanged numbers with this chef on TikTok. I will never mention what this chef's name is because it's pointless. But he had a nice following and he was very attractive. He was tall, brown skinned, with a beard, kind of deep. So the chef and I exchanged numbers and we talked every day. We FaceTimed every once in a while and we seem to have the same values when it comes to relationships and marriage and whatnot. He seemed serious about getting to know me and I always take dating seriously. So I was on the yeah. side and I even deleted that because I was getting to know him. On this one particular day, he talked earlier in the day, but then during the evening time, it was like kind of silence. He did that he was around family and whatnot, so I'm like, okay. But then the next day, silence. The day after that, silence. But after that last time, I attempted to call him and he didn't answer. So I sent him a text and I'm like, brother, if you're no longer answering. Sweetie, I'm just a minute into this video and I'm bored to tears. I can't imagine what a 30 minute date looks like, but I can imagine the guy's reaction after the date is over. It's probably this. What was that? It was bad. It, it had nothing, no fire, no energy, no nothing. You know I have a shoulder right here, you know? Mm -hmm. And it must pop, pop, pop! Rachel Cavalli. I want to know, does size matter? No. Not at all? Not at all. You know what? I'm good with seven inches, eight inches. Yeah. Well, in that case, I got you covered. Now, I'd like a little cooch. Me too. Mine's as big as a house. <laughs> Let's talk about the phrase no uterus, no opinion, because I've seen far too many men use this as an excuse to not participate in the discussion surrounding women's rights being stripped away before our eyes. But what you need to understand is no uterus, no opinion means that you must be pro-choice because being pro-choice means that you don't push your opinion into the lives, bodies, and healthcare decisions of other people. So, you better wise up, stand up. You know, I find it ironic that you want men to be pro-choice when none of you are pro-choice. What? Oh, I'm sorry, are you confused? Well, allow me to explain. When a child is conceived with a man's DNA, the man cannot choose if he wants to be a father or not. A woman makes that choice for him. When a man doesn't want to pay child support for a child he never wanted, he doesn't get to make that choice. A woman makes that choice for him, and the courts enforce the woman's choice. If a man doesn't want to leave his home because his ex divorced him, he doesn't get a choice. A woman makes that choice for him, and the courts enforce the woman's choice. If a man doesn't want to pay alimony, to a woman who's never worked a day in her life and contributed absolutely nothing financially to the marriage, he doesn't get to make that choice. A woman makes that choice for him and the courts enforce the woman's choice. Gender equality, am I right? Equal rights, am I right? Oh, by the way, here's a fun fact that you might not be aware of. Women are not without electoral or political power. It is noteworthy that the percentage of women who register to vote and cast a ballot is consistently higher than the percentage of the men who do so." End of quote. Well, 
ladies, as Captain Planet would say, The power is yours! What? Repeat the line. The power is yours! That means you don't need men to stand up, you need to man up and handle your business. And that's the bottom line, cause don't go sit up! <laughs>